Science Center is a hands-on science museum in Ithaca, New York. It was founded on February 28, 1983 as a 501c3 not-for-profit educational organization. The Science Center grew out of the volunteer-run hands-on science program run for 15 years at several elementary schools in the Ithaca City School District. The community based tradition continued as the museum grew to be nationally known, despite not having a paid staff until the 1990s. The Science Center is accredited by the American Alliance of Museums, and is a member of the Association of Science Technology Centers and Association of Children's Museums. Beginnings The Science Center grew out of the vision of community volunteers Debbie Levin and Ilma Levine who sought to expand upon the «Science Discovery Room program» they developed at Central Elementary School now called Beverly J. Martin Elementary School in the 1970s to 1980s. In 1982, an ad was placed in the Ithaca Journal inviting any individual interested in starting a community science center to meet at the local public library. From this group emerged a board of directors, which laid the foundation for the success of the organization. <laughs> Early operations The early Science Center was somatic nomadic as its gallery spaces moved among several donated storefronts in downtown Ithaca. The first exhibition space was opened in 1984 at 200 East Buffalo Street, in space donated by Syarabba Walker & Co. When the Science Center had to move, it was able to find free space in the old Hickey's Music Store on South Tioga Street. Volunteers built exhibits, a small museum store was added, and schools were invited to bring classes for hands-on programs. From 1986 to 1989, membership and attendance grew, and the base of volunteers expanded. When the Science Center was forced to close its Tioga Street site to make way for a new county building, Ithaca Center Associates offered temporary space. The Science Center relocated to the Center Ithaca complex during 1989 and in 1990 closed its exhibit space to focus on the task of building a permanent home. <laughs> Plans for a permanent facility By the fall of 1988, it had become clear the organization would need to find larger and more permanent quarters to remain viable in the long term. Architect Bob Leathers, of Leathers & Associates, nationally known for his innovative community built playgrounds and Ithaca resident, offered his services to help design a structure that would serve as home to the Science Center. Leathers proposed the Science Center be built by members of the community, including businesspersons, secretaries, store clerks, teachers, bricklayers, electricians, university professors, doctors, grandparents, and children. The result would be a science museum that belonged to the entire community, because they had built it. The first campaign The campaign began in 1990 with a donation of $50,000 by Vector Magnetics, Inc., an Ithaca technology firm. In October 1990, the board, under Chair Bruce Thompson, hired registered professional engineer and geologist, Dr. Charles Troutman, as executive director. The project was announced in February 1991 at a party at Rock Stream Studios, then at 235 Cherry Street in Ithaca, that was attended by 500 individuals and highlighted by presentations by Mayor Benjamin Nichols, Assemblyman Marty Luster, State Senator Jim Seward, Congressman Matt McHugh, Cornell President Emeritus Dale Corson, Nobel Laureate Hans Bethe, and Cornell astronomer Carl Sagan. 
Troutman and Thompson were able to secure pledges from several donors for $250,000 to move the project forward. Under their leadership, the Science Center board, staff, and volunteers developed refined architectural plans, formulated a business plan, and laid the groundwork for a $1 million fundraising campaign. The proposed building would be about 5,000 square feet (460 square meters) in area and would have an adjacent outdoor science park. Topic: <laughs> Phase One construction. Phase I construction of the Science Center was accomplished as a result of valuable contributions by a steering committee, corporate-led support, individual and community donors, challenge grant campaign, and community volunteers. Emerson Power Transmission Corporation and Wegmans Food Markets donated cash. A $90,000 demonstration project grant for the heating system was provided by the New York State Electric and Gas Corporation. Many other local businesses assisted with donations of building materials or deep discounts on products and services. Restaurants provided food during the building periods, as did many individuals. Cornell fundraiser Sherry Bergman, anxious to join the challenge of creating a community-built science center, was hired to help with the project. The cash portion of the campaign was capped with a $100,000 challenge grant from the Cressage Foundation. A major commitment to a volunteer-built project was a first for the foundation. Groundbreaking officially took place at a ceremony in August 1992, and construction took place between August 1992 and May 1993, with 2,200 volunteers donating more than 40,000 hours of labor to the project. The grand opening took place on May 22, 1993, slightly less than 10 months after groundbreaking. During the early days, visitors streamed into the museum at a rate of about 50,000 per year to interact with the exhibits and take part in the educational programs offered by the museum. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Museum expansion. Exhibit development was rapid and prolific, and by 1995 a number of exhibits were in storage for lack of display space. Demand for programs continued to grow, additional NSF project grants were in hand, and the staff was twice as large as had been projected in a 1992 pre-construction business plan. To accommodate this growth, the Science Center leased an adjacent brick building from the city of Ithaca to provide 2,000 square feet square meters of program space. In 1996, the city gave this building and the other half of the 600 block of First Street to the Science Center for $1 following an intense year-long lobbying effort by Executive Director Charlie Troutman and Ithaca Common Council member Susan Blumenthal. In 1999, the Science Center launched a capital campaign to expand the Science Center to 32,000 square feet (3,000 square meters) to provide additional exhibit and program space, an early childhood area, and a discovery room. The campaign raised $5.5 million and the expansion project was dedicated on February 28, 2003, on the 20th anniversary of the Science Center's founding. Topic: Advancement. With the museum expansion behind it, the organization could now focus on planning for future educational impact and building systems to support these strategic plans. Lara Kimber was hired in August 2004 as the Science Center's first director of advancement and was charged with creating a team to integrate the areas of development, membership, marketing, communications and public, media relations to advance the mission of the Science Center. Key priorities included, growing the annual fund, developing an individual giving program, raising funds for special projects, and growing the Science Center endowment. Hmm. 
Topic: <laughs> Guest Relations and Operations. Its guest relations and operations team manages the front desk and operates the Science Center store. Volunteers continue to assist with many aspects of the operation, including serving as museum guides, assisting with member services, working on building and grounds maintenance, and delivering educational programs. With the help of volunteers, the Science Center organizes a number of free days at the museum and free community events. Topic: Educational programs. The museum runs a variety of programs, on-site and off-site, school-based and non-school-based. In 2007, the Science Center completed a five-year master plan for education that outlined three strategies for realizing maximum educational impact, a breadth strategy focusing on strengthening programming for existing core museum audiences, a depth strategy focusing on longer, repeated educational programming for middle and high school aged youth and a teacher professional development strategy focusing on elementary science. Topic: Science Center exhibits. The mission of the Science Center is to inspire excitement for science through interactive exhibits and programs that engage, educate, and empower. The Science Center in Ithaca features 250 plus fun, hands-on exhibits, educational programs, an outdoor science playground, a seasonal 18-hole Science Center mini golf course, a tide pool touch tank with live marine animals, an animal room, and an area designed for kids ages 4 and under with its own playground. Indoor exhibits include water gates, Bernoulli blower, ball machine, Quantum's last leap. Dam the Creek, Musical Soundscape, Earthquake Table, How Many is a Million, Science Center Mini Golf, A Scream Chamber, and more. A unique feature of the Science Center is the outdoor science playground, featuring a series of interconnected ramps and structures containing more than two dozen playground-type activities related to physics, engineering, and geology. In 2008, the Science Playground was part of a major outdoor capital improvement project that, in the spirit of past community build events, brought together 275 volunteers from the community to enhance the park, and other outdoor learning spaces at the museum. Educational programs include field trips, after-school programs, summer camp, and showtime, presentations. In 1997, the Science Center opened the Sagan Planet Walk, an outdoor walking scale model of the Solar System named in memory of Carl Sagan, a member of the Science Center's advisory board until his death in December 1996. The exhibition is 1,200 meters long and extends from the commons in downtown Ithaca to the Science Center. An audio tour for cell phones and media players, narrated by Bill Nye, was added in 2003, and the asteroid station, featuring a real meteorite, was added in 2009. Traveling exhibitions The Science Center's traveling exhibition program took on a national flavor in 1996 with the receipt of a major grant from the National Science Foundation. The Science Center was one of five founding members of a national exhibition collaborative for small museums called Teams Traveling Exhibitions at Museums of Science, which received a $1.2 million grant to produce five separate traveling exhibitions. These were completed in 1999 and several are still on tour. The Science Center's contribution, Fun, 2, 3, 4, All About a Number of Things, has 15 exhibits on measuring, graphing, counting, and estimating. 
The Science Center's first major solo NSF grant was called Tech City and led to the development of a 3,000 square foot (280 square meters) exhibition that began a national tour in 2003. Over the following years, a number of other major grants were received, including two extensions of the NSF team's grant in 2000 and 2004, additional NSF grants through Cornell University, and a number of NASA education and public outreach grants. The Science Center's exhibit staff has grown considerably, and is managing and supporting a portfolio of traveling exhibitions currently including 14 exhibitions, eight of which were developed by the Science Center, with others coming from exhibition collaboratives who have contracted with the Science Center based on its growing reputation in exhibition tour management among small museums. Discovery Trail The museum is a member of the Discovery Trail, uniting several of the Ithaca's museums and the Tompkins County Public Library. 